This Blender tutorial demonstrates how to make any object automatically track a moving target. To get things started, fire up Blender, create a character, create an eye for the character, and finally create a target for the eye of the character. Now, select the eye object and open up the Constraints tab. This Constraints tab is like a double-edged sword, because on the one hand, there is a lot we can do here, but on the other hand, to look at so many options and not know what they do can be daunting, demoralizing, and direly discouraging. Here, the option that enables tracking is the Track 2 constraint. On the field that says Target, select a Target object. Then select the track axis or the forward direction. This should be based on the local axes of the eye object. Finally, select the up direction, which is typically the positive Z axis. And now, with this tracking constraint in place, when the target object moves around in the scene, the eye automatically follows its location. And now that we know how to handle this double-edged sword, we are one step closer to becoming a Blender Ninja. But, as easy as it is, this method does have a few caveats. First, the origin of the eye object is the pivot point for tracking, so make sure the origin is at the proper location. As for the second caveat, make sure the track axis and the up direction are set correctly. These should be selected based on the orientation of the eye object, which you can find by looking at the local and global axes. And the final caveat is for cases where the source object is set to do two things at the same time, follow a path, and track an object. This is a typical use case for camera movement in product animation. In such cases, make sure that the tracking constraint is placed after the path following constraint. Otherwise, the camera will not be able to track the target properly. At this point, you have the skills to make a character's gaze follow any subject. This is the easy part, making something meaningful out of it. Well, that's a different story. As for this tutorial, thank you for watching, and until next time, take care.